Welcome back to a new video, one I promised a long time ago, and I apologize in advance. Um, I thought I would have this done weeks prior, but besides being a little bit lazy, some of the files I had uh, were unfortunately, they disappeared. I don't know whether I deleted them, or I don't know, I'm sure I did without realizing it. So I had to do certain segments all over again. And I even try. I'm trying now to even add new features like gameplay footage as an intro. You know, just trying to mix and match, so it won't be the same monotonous type of video. Um, but yeah, I managed to salvage a good amount of the of the other items that were that were missing, like the comparison clips and some of the older video footages, and in which I did a redub because the audio wasn't that good, so I just redubbed it from another separate source much clearer audio now but anyway uh, the video it's about the Wii to HDMI adapter as many of you know the Wii only can connect to the to a TV either through composite or through component um, cabling the problem is that not all um, TVs today come with those type of cables um, since they're trying their best manufacturers are trying to separate and eliminate anything that has to do with analog um, connectors and so you'll notice that a lot of TV only have HDMI. And at rare instances, they might place a composite just for those who have old DVDs so they can connect. But many of them just seem not to include component. So I decided, okay, there has to be a way to connect the, the Wii to, uh, to HDMI. So I noticed different methods available. Um, you'll notice that I've been using different type of adapters, like one that was component to HDMI, which is universal, not Wii specific. Uh, I'm currently using that on the Xbox, and it's fantastic, to be per perfectly honest. It works great. Then I noticed there were so many variants of the Wii to HDMI that I always wondered, what's the difference? Are they all the same? So uh, the first one I ever purchased was the Monoprice, which is pictured on the screen right now and I always wondered will it work how, how how will it work so I remember combining it connecting it to the unit as you can tell all you have to do from the image on the screen is connect the the back back port of the mm -hmm. console just connect the, the adapter and from there connect the HDMI cable and you're set it's pretty simple for all the, the different type of adapters and you're ready to go this one in particular, I remember seeing it, and it looked pretty good. It clarified the image a bit. It was good looking. I mean, it, it looked pretty good for many of the Wii games. But then there were some other games, especially GameCube games, like Super Mario Sunshine. It looked horrible. It was too much brightness. And it's say in the beginning when you're in the beach. And you see it. And um, you have to um clean the beach. Um, Yeah. It's um, it just, it's too bright, and therefore it, it would hurt my eyes. So I said, okay, this is because it's up converting. Is there one that does not up convert? That just simply changes the signal from analog to digital or component to HDMI. So after searching around, I found this one on Amazon, which was the K Cool adapter that actually did. Okay, uh, I'm gonna talk more a little bit more about these later on. So don't worry, I'm just. Um, going through them lightly um, so I could compare them later but then I noticed that this one was actually different this one did not up convert it just transferred the signal and that was it it just converted the signal that was it there was another one I had purchased on Amazon but I can't review it because it arrived there it will only project video I don't remember whether or not it was 720 or just stayed at 480 but there was no audio not even through HDMI, and when I try to use the 3.5 millimeter jack to say to uh, to my soundbar or any other, um, uh, um, how should I sound? I know the Spanish word. I'm sorry. Um, any uh, any other type of audio than speaker? I'm sorry. Then it, nothing. It didn't work. So I had to return that one. Thankfully, I was able to 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 make these two work and they were different enough to compare them so that at least we have that to compare from now on so what you're gonna find in this video first up you're gonna see the different types of adapters used and then some comparison video um, between using one GameCube and one um, uh, game, a Wii game 
Okay, the GameCube game is Adventure Island, the Japanese version of the Hudson Soft Select. And the, the, the Wii game is going to be the Monkey King, which is a shooter. I think it's Cloud Master. Uh, the remake of Cloud Master for the Sega Master System. It's pretty good. Um, so you can see the differences, how one looks clearer than the other, how one gets stretched, another one gets converted through 720. And in reality, it's all up to you which quality you like. And I'll tell you at the end which one I like out of both. But yeah, um, that's pretty much the comparison videos. And again, I'm sorry for the delay of uh, using, of creating this video. So I'm hoping to have this video set up by later on tonight. It's already Sunday, May 5th. So maybe later on tonight I could upload for tomorrow. And that's pretty much it. If by any chance you guys like this, just let me know because there are different type of comparison videos I can make. And nothing. I'll let you know at the end. Right now, let's just talk about the different type of the different type of adapters that we're going to review in this video. These are the two HDMI adapters for the Wii, or the Wii to HDMI converters. Um, one of them is the K Cool, and the other one is the Wii to HDMI converter from Monoprice, their first release. They're basically identical; they look the same. However, uh, the first one is the Wii to HDMI converter. Um, by K-Cool. This is the adapter itself. Similar to the Monoprice as you saw earlier. And a small little adapter goes on the back of the unit. Made in China, FCC, as you can see the, the icons. This one is slightly different than the Monoprice one because it doesn't upconvert. It just, just transfers the same signal. 480 through the HDMI. Then, it's, even though it says Full HD. Think about it. It's, it's ironic. But it does not convert to 1080 nor 720. Now, contrary to the mono price one, um, here's the box first. It's a, as you can see, we to HDMI converter, white, the first release. I think they're now selling the second release. And my cat is in heat again. <sighs> again. Anyway, um, converts the HDMI. This one will convert it back to 720. It's the same size as the K Cool. As you can see, we're a small little hole on the bottom left. I don't know what that is for, to be perfectly honest. Um, it connects to the back of the unit, just like the other one, and just connect an HDMI. Here are the HDMI. See, this is the HDMI port with a 3.5 millimeter, just in case you want to connect it to a home theater or sound bar. And I don't know what the little hole in the bottom is for. I have no idea. Let's compare it to the other one. You'll notice it's basically the same, without that hole. Okay, then look in the back of the box. The Monoprice one says it upscales to 720, 1080. Reality, it's only 720. Um, requires HDMI cable, obvious. Does not require power because it just takes it from the unit itself. Just connect it to the unit and that's it. However, this will stretch the unit to 720. Since 480 is 43, this is going to convert it to 16.9, stretching the image a bit. This is not a Wii adapter per se, however, this is just a normal component to HDMI adapter um, by a company called Porta, though I'm pretty sure that's just a label they place on many generic uh, adapters of this type. Um, what it does is just connects the component cables to the unit, and then on the other side is an output to HDMI. From what I can tell, because I've used this on the Xbox also, it just transfers the same signal it inputs to it outputs. In other words, if, it, if there's an input of 720, it's going to output 720. If it inputs 480, it's going to be 480 output. Um, I purchased this in Mono Price for around 21.99. It works fine. I, I'm currently using this on the Xbox, but I'm also going to test and uh, work this out for the Wii. Uh, let's okay. Okay, okay, now I remember. Um, so you can see the adapters in place. Here where you connect the cables, the YPVPR, and the two audios. That's the H HDMI output with a 5 volt um, power supply. Um, you'll need that even though it's always going to stay on, sadly. But it works pretty good. Here are the three adapters placed together. On um, the top left, you see the way you do HDMI. 
on the top right, we see the Wii to HDMI mono price version. The other one was the K-Core. And the component to HDMI adapter. Um, what can I say about this? Basically, what I'm not said. Um, each one has their differences. As you can see, the K-Core, it's the same packaging as the mono price. Um, however, it says Full HD. We already determined that it wasn't Full HD. It's 480. Um, you'll find out later on with the comparison screenshots. Um, it says it says Wii 2. I don't know why it says Wii 2. Maybe it's just Wii 2 HDMI. Kind of weird for them to put that. But otherwise, it's the same adapter for both. Uh, the Mono Price and the K-Core. And compared to the component... I don't know. Uh, I do prefer this one because it's clearer, as you'll see later on in the comparison screenshots, um, compared to the mono price one, which is the clearest. However, it just stretches out the screen way too much. seen from the games there's like a transition regarding clarity color and even aspect ratio first we start off as as seen before using component cables and a capture card then we used um, the component to HDMI adapter then we use the Wii to HDMI K cool and finally the mono price adapter please keep in mind we use the same capture card with all the samples so there shouldn't be much of a difference if any at all the same variable you'll notice that from the first one which is just using component cables to the last one you'll notice that the clarity it gets clearer as the image progresses so clearer and then more clearer you can see more of the background depending if the game is really really dark 
And this is the problem that Super Mario Sunshine faces. It gets too clear, and because of that, it's it, it's hard on the eyes. You can barely you can barely play it. Then color, since it becomes clearer, color becomes clearer, and to the point in which it looks a little bit washed out. It looks good, just slightly washed out. And then finally, the aspect ratio, which is they're all the same, four three, with the exception of the last, which is sixty nine because it was upscaled to 720. However, there was a little thing I've noticed is was that the 720, the upscaled version, had a slight amount of lag. Um, granted, this could be because of the capture card, and but I remember trying it on my several TVs in gaming mode, and the same thing occurred. It's not noticeable. In most games, it's barely noticeable. But especially in fighting games or games that need precision, or if you're going to use emulators, then you'll notice the, the lag. But other than that, the main difference was uh, the color and the clarity as it kept progressing using different adopters. Um, so which one is better overall? Well, that depends on the situation and the TV and different factors. In my case, I prefer the one that's the, the, the component to HDMI box and the K-Cool Wii to HDMI. I prefer to keep it at the same ratio. I don't like the image stretched as the Monoprice one did. I like to keep some color and some clarity, not too, not too excessive, excessively bright. And at least um, I try to reduce the amount of lag as much as possible. But there are TVs that are already bright as it is so you'll need some of the other adapters or the or other TVs that are too dark that you may need other adapters like the Wii to HDMI Mono price to clarify the image it all depends but at least for me I prefer the, those two mentioned previously and I wish I could have tried other games particularly Super Mario Sunshine but as you guys know Nintendo has this YouTube thing that if I put something a game they want to monetize, they're going to try to flag it down, so I'm, I'm, I'm unable to use Super Mario Sunshine as an example. I did have an example of Mega Man Network Transmission, but in order to prevent this video being 20-something minutes long, I decided to take it out. But basically it was the same as the other games. You can The clearer the image though, since Mega Man is naturally a uh, dark game, it became clearer, so... That's a benefit about using the Wii to HDMI, the Monoprice adapter. Though you'll do great with the Keiko. There's no problem with that. And I would like to try in the future uh, two things. Try PAL games on an NTSC console with the adapter to see how it looks, how it plays, and how it compares with the other samples. And I like to try emulators, but I don't know whether or not I, that's actually worth it or worth me doing, you know. And besides European games, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just want to try that to see how it plays. Oh, yeah. And try getting different adapters, let's say through um, VL Extreme or. Oh, jeez. So this, this, this famous site. Um, I forgot the name. I'll probably just list it below. But, um. Yeah, I tried a different one because they're cheap, like three or four dollars. I wonder if they're gonna be as um, AliExpress. That's a company, as bad as it as the uh, these versions. I mean, I think they're the same, but you might never know. But overall, the the test was pretty clear in regards to which one should be gotten. Of course, it depends on the person. But yeah, I hope this video was informative. It, I hope it clarified many things, and of course, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. If I could, if you want me to try other games, I'll try them out. If I have the games, if not, I'll just see if I could, what I could do about that. Oh, before I forget, these little units get really, really hot. At first, I thought it was just uh, the temperature in the room, but even with air conditioner. And it got warm, pretty warm. The K-Cool to HDMI got 
relatively warm, got acceptable, the temperature was acceptable, but the motor prize got really, really hot. I'm guessing because it's trying to upscale at the same time, but that also worries me because it's, it's pulling power from the system and it doesn't have its own external power. It may cause problems later on, but overall they did work, thankfully. So the other alternative is just to use a component box, so therefore you won't be um, taking away more power from the system itself and prolonging life as much as possible, of course. Thanks so much for viewing my video. Sorry for the extreme delay. Um, I'm trying to see if I can get motivated once more to do to do other videos. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna start doing playthroughs similar to Let's Plays with using OBS Studio. Um, I'm even gonna talk about other other topics like games people don't like that I enjoy, or read or really strange games you barely see on YouTube. Just trying to diversify a bit. I do know I have a lot of stuff I can review, like um, funny looking popcorn maker, um, uh, s'mores, some boxes that arrived from my brother, uh, those loot crate type boxes. He has a couple of them have, we have not opened, hoping to do reviews. And there won't be any, for the time being with me, there won't be any more loot crates nor Super Geek box because money wise, it's not good. And I'm trying to save as much money as possible. And but yeah, I'm gonna see what I could do. Diversify. If you guys have any ideas or any questions or comments, of course, feel free to let me know. Either it be on the messages below, or if you guys want to send me a private message, that's fine with me. But yeah, thanks so much for everything. Uh, remember, let me know if anything, and hit that like or subscribe button if you enjoyed this video, or if you found it informative. It helps at least motivate me to make other videos and to continue. And nothing. Thanks for everything and have a wonderful day. Take care, guys.